Hello friends, welcome to the new video of the React Redux Thang. But here we are going to learn about how to create a CRUD app, Monstack CRUD app with implementation of React Redux Thang. Okay, so in the previous video, you know how to set up the things, right? How to set up the store, how to set up everything. So here we are going to define much more on it. Okay, so we have the backend at the moment, Node.js. And we have a front-end React app. Okay, so let's start the for uh, server side. We have using Mo uh, Mongo for the API and for the and using the, consume that API in our front-end that is React. <coughs> okay, so you can see that uh, I can create any kind of account over here. See, the data is uh, provided with the help of listing. So API is call, okay. All the API is all calling over here. So let's take a look how we are going to implement it. So, so we have uh, let's. Uh, if you want the Node.js uh, demo on the same video, just write me down in the comment section. So Node.js part I'm not going to explain. So if you want, just let me know. Please explain that Node.js how they are interacting with the API. So basically, Node.js we have used for creating. Uh, a user delete and updation okay so you have a, if you learn what uh, what we have done so you can go through my videos also if you want that i can show the demo on that also you can also let me know in the comment section right so next we have uh, this one actions we have actions we have action types we have components we have reducers okay so and we have a store okay so first of all store where we have defined the middleware thunk okay so we have applied the middleware thunk moving to the next we have app.js where we have uh, we have index.js we have added the provider right in index.js you need to know that and in app.js you need to render the components so here we have the components right <coughs> create read and update so all the data goes this right okay next we have go to the components the first step by step first we have the component suppose i have a component create okay so if i go to the create function this is the basic form so this is basically a, a function uh, there would be a render function where we have the form okay so you can see that we have a form with the name email password name email and uh, last name okay so we have it so whenever there is a submit button click so whenever we have done the submit button, what it is going to be do, it will go to the create user. Okay, this is the, you can say the function in the your reducer file. Okay, in your reducers, it should be there. Okay, so let's check where it is. So in the actions where it is, here we have calling all the API section in the actions. So this is users, we have a create user function. Okay. So you can see that we have a create user function here. It will hit the API first. Okay. Then dispatch the another one that is create user success and send the payload data and push the history that is slash forward slash. Right. <coughs> Else if it is not returning any data, then user failure with the payload, they are going to dispatch response day data that is empty array. Okay. Then we have a get users, then we have a get user by ID, the same process it's gonna be followed. So I will explain you the first step. <coughs> okay, so you can write it also uh, if you want that one, right? Okay, so what it will do, it will dispatch the create user request and call the API. Okay, so create user is a uh, user is request. Okay, so it will uh, all the data should be in the payload. Okay. So then after after that we have action types we have defined users. So this is the action types that is create user request. Okay, so we will import this one in the components. You can see that create user action users. Okay, so we have a create user, right? After this one props create user, the API call is hit. <coughs> okay. This is not the thing that API is hit right here. You need to pass it in your map state to props here the loading is there 
okay so map state to props what it did it will loading state dot users it will return the loading so it will go with the loading after that it will dispatch to the props okay so the data is in the create user if you go to that create user here you can see that the data is here right so whatever the data you can getting in so you can get it by uh, get the data in the uh, by dispatch to the props okay so after dispatching this one here is a connect function function for uh, like uh, interacting with the redux okay so map state to props map dispatch to props then we have a create this is a create page so you can use it like this okay after api call is hit okay because here we are not setting the data okay we are just uh, putting up the loader so once the data is filled like once the data is filled once the this this function is called all the data is coming and uh, let's go to the this one again users so we are going to see that create user request create user success in the cre create user success first check the create user request what the function is going to do in the reader reducers so we have a users go to this function create user request okay loading true first it will make it loading true after this uh, loading true then we go to the users again after loading true is done then we are going to the create user success okay so in the user success what we do loading false because here if i go to this one uh, i'm adding any kind of thing so here you can see i can add any of the emails okay you can see see that there is a loader after data is done then load, loading gonna be false and the data is rendered with the index you can see that in that code uh, where we have actions not users you can see that history dot push the data is by slash okay so here they have i have pushed that one also so <coughs> you can see that after this we have a get users you can see that uh, read so this is the read file with which we have a table okay so you can see that what where the data all all this data where it, it is getting on so if the data is coming from the map state to props okay items so i think the function is also calling so here we have the component it mount this there is a prop that is called get users okay so get users there is a prop in action so you can see that there is a get user function so first it will use get user request okay so in the get user request we are going to check okay so let's move to this one get user request in your reducers get user request is there so it will return the state after the get user success is there it will set all the items what we have in your response action dot payload all the items is all the data is set into the state that is called items items is a array so if i go to the read one so api call is hit over here all the data is set okay here you can see that get users so map dispatch to props is the get users whenever there is a function so you will get this data from this one get users so you will you will get get the users so they are, you can uh, you can see that items dot map okay this dot props dot items all the data is in the items you can see that return items so all the data is in this state so you will get the data with the help of the items use it map it and show it okay so this is the basic fundamental for creating a redux thunk app okay so what what is the main fundamentally i conclude okay first we have a component okay if you want like uh, when we are component you want the power like you can you need to hit the api so in the component did mount you need to hit that one right then it will set into the state and use that one that will come into your props so you can use you can what you can use the data in the props okay so this is the way for getting the users and the second we have done the create account in the create account we have hit the api first then loading through loading loading false according to it we have create and listing to it okay <coughs> so any issue in that just let me know in the comment section or uh, anything that uh, i missed just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day